Hey guys, Galactic Animations here. Yes, the comic book collection is back. Now, I've rearranged some things. I've rearranged my long box. So, um, it's not in the order that it was. Uh, I know Marvel, was, well, like the Marvel was in the front of the box. But, um, now it's going to be in the middle. So, I kind of like did the uh, comic book company's names, like first letter in order, and then the books in order alphabetically, but, um, let's just get into the comics right now, um, let's hope this doesn't take too long, and let's hope the glare isn't that bad on, on it, so, um, yeah, so, first, uh, books of the second part of the comic book collection we have is, uh, Marvel Double Feature Issue 10, these are really just some crappy, um, what are they called? Uh, reprints, basically, of books. It's back there. We go. That's a good angle. So, um, I mean, I haven't read these. I'm kind of afraid to touch them. Uh, I have issue sixteen. Thought I had like the official death of Nick Fury, and then I have twenty, and I paid no attention. I just paid attention to the Black Panther part right there. And it turns out it's just ended up like this. So, um, let's move on. Uh, Marvel Fanfare, Issue 5. Nice. Rap cover, too. Features two stories. One about Doctor Strange. And, uh, one about Captain America and Bucky. Uh, next is Marvel's Greatest Comics, Issue 64. Of course, some more reprints, and then 82. So I think these are based on uh, Fantastic Four, basically. Gosh, I can't. I want to get its book in its entirety, but it'll be fine. Um, this one's kind of cool. I found it for um, a dollar. The first ever issue of Marvel Knights. Now, it doesn't go for that much, but it's, like, pretty iconic in the sense where they've made a lot of books and that was like to me the basis of a lot of 2000s comic books so um we have issue five i like moon knight and daredevil i think that's a very cool cover that's like actually the reason why i got it was moon knight um <clears throat> marvel knights issue 21 this is the fourth volume i got this because it had like black panther on it but turns out it's a love story i don't know um Marvel Superheroes, issue 53, Th these are just some more reprints picked up. Uh, I thought this one was, like, the original one, but it takes place on Hulk 104, but it's just Marvel Superheroes, issue 58. Um, but anyway, Marvel Team-Up, uh, issue 23, nice old uh, Marvel Team-Up issue. I, like, was nearly going to get the last ever issue of... Marvel team up, but I never got it, and I'm kind of mad about it, because next time I went, it wasn't there, but anyway, uh, Marvel triple action issue two, just some more reprints, um, uh, the thing, well, Marvel two and one, issue 73 with a thing in Quasar, it's a nice book, um, this one, like, this book, I had just gotten not too long ago, and I I don't think I've shown it off yet, but that is uh, the Moon Knight Birth and Death um, whole volume. Pretty nice book, actually. I didn't think I'd like it, but I actually did. And then we have uh, Moon Knight 189, Moon Knight 193. Um, have a nice 60s book, uh, Not Brand Eck, uh, issue 2. Um, <clears throat> from 1967, I believe. I think this is when, like comic books were good, um, and it's kind of sad considering this is a book by Stanley and it's just recent passing, but, um, I, I'm, I guarantee you all of the old Stanley books, you know, all the old Marvel books will jump up in price just because of his death, my, my honest opinion, I don't know, but, uh, it's a pretty cool book, I guess, I, I imagine he had a lot of fun making this, uh, but anyway, uh, Nova issue five, and, uh, 
issue 11. I think uh, the comic book store online kind of teased me. I forgot what it's called. Uh, but I was, like, looking up the prices for uh, my comic books and all that. And it said $81 for issue 11. I'm like, $81? But it turns out it's just, like, actually 10 which is still pretty good. But um, basically, like, the bases of my books are just cheap. So let's get to the back of here. Get this uh, stack. Uh, and then we have one more Nova. That's issue 15. It's kind of water damage, but it's like really cool. I got it because he was fighting like the Avengers. Spoiler alert, they were robots. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, but... It's just me. Okay, so, uh, anyway, moving on, we have Old Man Logan, issue 14. <clears throat> I'm not a really a big fan of the art inside, but it turned out to be a pretty good story. So, I was pleased with it. And that was a book that I got when I just, when I, like, really got back into comic books. Uh, Power Man and Iron Fist Annual, issue 1. I wasn't, I don't like the art inside it either, but... Nice cover. I believe this is by Jamal Campbell, this cover. Very nice. I was planning to get this book before, and I finally got it. Um, Luke Cage, Power Man, issue 33. It's a nice book. I kind of want to get the next issue for this, because this one was a cliffhanger. Uh, Power Man and Iron Fist, issue 52. Now, the reason why I have Power Man and Iron Fist intertwined with like the power man books is because power man was its own book of course probably a lot of you know this but then they moved it over with power man and iron fist so it still says like power man at the top but uh <clears throat> they turned out to be a great team but uh anyway um we have now power man and iron fist issue 63 my first ever power man and iron fist book I'm actually quite glad I have it. It's a nice story inside. Um, the Prowler, issue 6. Very, very nice artwork. And, uh, I'm going to see who does it. Um, Jamal Campbell does it. Good job, Jamal. Um, I believe he lives in Can Canada. Uh, if you guys don't watch Stadium Comics, um, Ricky and Kevin, I think is his name. They're, like, really good friends with him. Uh, this is a graph, like, actually a volume. I haven't read the whole thing, but it's Punisher Black and White. Uh, for the looks of it so far, like, I've read the first few pages. It's actually not that bad. <clears throat> um, entering some more Punisher books. These are, like, really cheap books, but I enjoy reading them. Uh, the Punisher 226. I have the first annual, but I don't feel like getting up and going to get it, because then I have to edit, and I'm not good at editing, and for my previous video, I don't know, like, I, I said I'm not good at editing, so, um, and just to let you know, uh, I filmed that video, and then I filmed this one after, so that one's gonna be published, and then it'll be this one, so honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to edit these and all that, but anyway, uh, Punisher, Wanted Dead or Alive, issue 57, Nice, uh, issue. It's a 90s issue, but, meh. Uh, Punisher issue 13. Like, Netflix Punisher cover. I've heard that's, like, really, really dirty. And it's, like, sexual scenes, and it's just, like, you don't need to put that stuff in there. It's, like, really, really unnecessary, but... Anyway, uh, the Punisher issue 11, a book from 1988. Uh, oldest Punisher book I have. <coughs> Punisher, The Final Days, issue 59. <laughs> what a twist at the end. He didn't want to be noticed, and I'm not going to spoil this one, but it's actually, like, the outcome is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Punisher Summer Special, issue 1. Not that, um... Uh, much money, I guess you could say, for an issue 1. Uh... <laughs> You know, I'm just thinking about, like, the outcome of that last Punisher book. Not the summer special, but the final days. And it just reminded me, I wanted to start, like, a meme channel, kind of like iDubs. 
you guys don't hear him. Never heard of him, actually. But <laughs> he's really funny. He does content cops on people and all that. It's really cool. But anyway, uh, Punisher War Journal, issue 7. Very, very nice detailed artwork in there. And I just feel like, is it me? Or does the Punisher without the suit on look like Negan? You know. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Punisher War Zone issue 8. This was like the one book I didn't feel like reading, but I read it anyway. And it turned out to be pretty good. Well, not that bad, rather. Uh, Ravage 2099 issue 1. One of my first ever comic books, actually. Along with this next one, too, um, Red Sonya, issue 15. Not 50, 15. Sorry. I'm gonna have to, like, reorganize these. Because they're not in alphabetical order like they were. But anyway, uh, Rom, issue 23. I believe I showed this book off last channel. Yeah. That was with, uh... The Swamp Thing Annual Issue 1, and that uh, sweet uh, 1966 Anna book, and along with that 60s-looking supervillain, Society of Supervillains Issue 4, I believe. Those books will be shown, I'm just going to say. So if you don't know what they look like, I'm just still going to show them. So anyway, uh, Royals Issue 1, um, I like the uh, Inhumans, and I haven't I hadn't read this story ever since I got it, and I've read it, and it was pretty good um final book of this stack before i go back for some more uh secret empire issue one uh should have gotten issue zero just to like kind of stretch out the story um you'd expect this one to be like two years old considering like be some money but it's not um not really probably about five bucks um <laughs> Man, this book, this Secret Empire issue one, brings me back so many memories. I had a stomach virus the night before Free Comic Book Day, my first ever Free Comic Book Day. Not, well, you know, not last one, but the year before. <laughs> I, I, you know, just got sick. I blame it on Tyson Chicken Strips. But anyway, um, <laughs> I still went. I was that committed. I'm like, this is my first one. I'm not going to miss it. So, my dad's like, sit in the back seat. I don't want to see you throw up. If you do, I get sick myself. So, I'm like, okay. He's like, you, he would ask me every five minutes. He's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Because, <laughs> I mean, I I guess I thought about that a bit. But I didn't want to think about it to where it ruined my whole trip. And I got sick and we had to go home. But, uh, anyway, Secret Empire Issue 9. Uh, nice book. Um. <clears throat> Secret Wars issue zero, free comic book day book. This is for my first one. Uh, <laughs> this book kind of makes me mad because I saw the first ever freaking issue of it at Carbondale Comic Con. I had spent forty bucks on six books, and then I saw this book for twelve bucks. Not the one I'm about to show you, but the first ever issue. Secret Wars issue two. My dad has issue three through twelve, even freaking eight and if i get like probably 100 subscribers i'm going to show you my whole room tidy it up and i'm just going to show you it and it's hanging up here but the thing is the cover is torn off and every time i look at it it just makes me mad and one day me and my grammy we walked into the comic book store she's like you know what i'll take you so because i had been to the comic book store like the day before i wasn't pleased with my uh, the ones I got, and I was gonna get, uh, Silver Surfer issue two, but it wasn't there, but, um, anyway, <clears throat> and so she told the guy that was working there, and he was on Local 6, so, Comics Explained, you're watching this, you probably, if you live in Western Kentucky, you'd probably, uh, know this guy, but he was talking about Stanley the day of his death, but, um, but it wasn't that guy, uh, it was the one who works there on the weekends, he's a teacher, and, <laughs> My grandma was telling them how upset I get whenever I see that book. Like, I get giddy, but then I get upset because it's in such bad shape. 
Just my feelings. So, uh, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, issue 159. This is a reprint, um, because it was, like, a former book, you know? Uh, anyway, She-Hulk issue 13. Uh, last channel, I put a video on there, books I was willing to sell. And this one I changed my mind about. It was my only She-Hulk book, plus it was an 80s book. I don't care how boring it is, I'm still gonna keep it. And that was, like... think before or after i'm pretty sure it was after christmas yeah it was like day of my dad's birthday or something um i know this one isn't as much as it the first one was but it's slapstick issue one and i have issues one through four i saw this book like a ad for it in a depot comic comic book comic book comic book I'm like, holy crap, I'm excited because he's a part of the merch for money. So, I got it. Um, slapstick issue 2. I mean, I, I was excited for it. You know, because he's like a pretty cool character, in my opinion. So, of course, I just had to get it. I like the second issue. It's pretty good. Uh, slapstick issue 3. And uh, Slapstick. Stick issue four. G I call them the GI dogs. I don't call them more dogs. <laughs> they do look like the GI Joe has dogs. So, uh, I never found issue five. It's just like I watch Stadium Comics. They save like the first few issues of a book, and then they stop like this one in particular. Um, but anyway, Spider Man twenty ninety nine issue one. I got this book for two bucks along with issue five, and I'm gonna try to sell issue five. So, um. One day I'm going to show, um, well, I'm going to make a video of books I am going to sell, or willing to sell, rather, um, probably on eBay or Facebook. So, um, I, I really need some support, you guys, and let's hope you get some of that and all that, and hopefully I make some money. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, like, recalculate everything and all that, um, but I need to Anyway, Spider-Man 2099, issue 15. It's part of the Civil War II storyline. Um, never really caught up with the Civil Wars, you know. Um, I, I, I had seen ads for it, but never really cared for it. But anyway, uh, Amazing Spider-Man, issue 1. Very nice. Um, Adam Ross cover, I think that's his name. I, I, I forgot his name. I don't, I don't think it says in this book. No, it doesn't. I, Alex Ross, what I meant to say. I, I think that's who did it. I don't know. I might say in the end. No. And it showed the uh, ad for the Fantastic Four issue. Like the first ever one with their comeback. <coughs> Sorry. I felt that sneeze coming in. But I sounded weird talking. But, um, anyway, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man Issue 2. Issue 3. Wait. I'm pretty sure. To, yeah, I got Issue 4. Because I'm like, wait, I did not get just three issues. I got, like, way more than that. But, anyway, um, Amazing Spider-Man Issue 577. Spider-Man Classics, Issue 2. I was going to sell this book, but no, I'm not. Well, I don't think I was. I don't know. But um, I kind of want to keep all my Spider-Man books now because of Stanley's passing. But anyway, uh, Spider-Man, Issue 62. Uh, Web Spinner, Spider-Man, Issue 17. Web of Spider-Man, 94. Um, I never really cared... Like, I didn't really want to get any books, because, like, late 80s, early 90s, that's not, like, comic books for me. I'm more of, like, the 70s, 80s, 60s kind of comic book collecting, collector. Well, early, like, mid-80s and below. And modern comics. Um, Spirits of Vengeance, issue 6. Um... <laughs> It says a headache in there, and I just can't, I can't read it, but then I had the courage to read it. Um, 
gonna have to hurry this video up. My phone is on 20%. So if it goes dead while filming this, and I don't say goodbye or anything, just know that my phone died, and I'll just make a third part. So anyway, uh, Star Wars issue 36. I actually bought that for my dad. Turns out he had that issue. Cover torn off. I'll do a video on my dad's collection one day. So, um, I'm struggling a bit here. This, oh, big enough. Okay, I kicked something. My desk. Uh, uh, Star Wars Skywalker Strikes. I got this at my book fair, which is surprising. At school, but, um, which was probably, I'm not going to say my grade, but a couple of years ago. But it's still pretty cool. It's like the complete first volume. Has all the issues in it. Um, every Star Wars book or something like that I have. I asked my dad if. I told him my dad he can read it if he want or whatever. Look through it. But anyway. Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens issue 6. I think that's a final issue for the comics. It, it's just basically the movie itself. So I, I know how everything is. So. Anyway, Mace Windu issue one and issue two. I'm gonna get issue three because they were both pretty good. Um, Darth Maul issue one. I expected better for this book. First book plus it's a fried pie variant. You can hardly find out how much a fried pie variant cost. But anyway, Darth Maul issue five. That's actually a pretty nice book. I like. The fact that he's actually fighting somebody. Uh, anyway, Princess Leia, issue one. Um, I got issue one and issue three, and they were like books a million variants. Um, so here's issue three. I got uh, both books in honor of Carrie Fisher, I believe that's her name. Uh, she had passed away that day. There you go. Lighting was terrible. But... I, I just did that in respect for her. And now, in honor for Stanley, I'm going to get that Hot Toys Stanley figure, but that's a lot. I don't have that kind of money. In fact, I'm broke. I I probably just have a penny right now. I'm not taking anything out of my bank account. Uh, Vader Down, issue one. That's a fried pie variant. Um, Got that for a buck at Books a Million. Super Pro, issue one. This is just basically... Not that much, but it was a pretty good story. Uh, Super Villain Team Up Issue 9. And Issue 10. I got, I've, I saw those books on um, Pop Fun to Play's channel. And I'm like, I want those books. Those are pretty freaking cool. Because Dr. Doom's one of my favorite villains. Submariner is one of my favorite villains. Or characters, rather. And then 10 has Red Skull on it. And then 9, he's just facing the Avengers. It was freaking cool. Uh, anyway, uh, S Super Villain Team Up, issue 14. This was my first one. I thought that was cool. Um, <clears throat> Tales to Astonish, issue 6. Got that at that junk store. If you guys don't remember that first comic book haul video I made on my previous channel. Uh, anyway, uh, The Thing, issue 12. Thought that was cool. Uh, Thor 306. Issues are backwards. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, Thor 221. This is like my first ever Thor book. And I, it was my oldest book at the time. One time, rather. And I thought that was pretty cool. My uncle has the same exact book. But anyway, True Believers, uh, Kanan, issue one. I thought it was like the real thing, but it turns out it's just the true believer. Nah. I don't really like true believers, honestly. Uh, Star Wars Shattered Empire issue one, true believers. Because really, they like toy your mind. You you just pay attention to the cover rather than the top. And then once you get her, it's like, oh crap, I got a true believers. It's not the real thing, you know? <laughs> um. Anyway, The Ultimates 2 issue one. This is a pretty cool book. Um. Ultimate Secret, Issue 4. I never found the um, value of this book. I looked and looked online, and I never found it. Never found it at all. So it's strange. Um, 
Anyway, uh, West Coast Avengers, issue 15. This book fell apart. Should have known better. Should have looked inside it, but my dumb luck, I guess. And then, my first ever freaking key issue, if I'm not mistaken, other besides uh, Spider-Man 2099 issue 1. What if issue 1 got this book for a dollar? Um, I got this book with my Grammy, you know, how she was telling that guy about the Secret War stuff and all that. Um, he gave me this for a buck because of the sticker stain up here. Which really is crappy, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. I mean, it still costs like 30 bucks, so I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, what if issue 39? I got this one my second uh, free comic book day. Thought it was pretty cool. It's like one of a kind. Basically, uh, some of my books fell back here, and I have my earbuds in. So, here, let me take these off. Alright, I am back, and I'm probably going to have to edit that, but then I don't know how. <laughs> YouTuber, be <laughs> YouTube beginner luck, I guess. But anyway, what if issue 41? I like the Submariner. He's a pretty cool character, in my opinion. So, um, I, I decided to get it. Pretty cool book. Um, but anyway, uh, X-Men and Alpha Flight, issue 1. Got this... Uh, at that junk store. Same with Tales to Astonish. It's pretty cool. You'd expect it to be more, but it's really not. Uh, X-Men Gold issue 8. Pretty cool book. I said that weird. I was going to say nice, and then I was going to say cool. I don't know. And then we just have, like, these weird books I got at Cub Scouts. So they're basically the 100 greatest Marvels of all time. So I have issue 1. Not worth much. Well, anything at all in issue three. So, basically, they're just reprints of old books. So, one is, like, Amazing Fantasy. And three is about uh, Phoenix Must Die. Like, uh, X-Men 187. I mean, 137. Good gosh. Uh, Punisher Max, issue 36. Punisher the Platoon 3. I didn't think this was Max Comics, but turns out it was. Because considering Punisher's a part of Marvel, I didn't think they would give him back to uh, give him back to that company. But anyway, Zombie Issue Two for Max. This is a very good story. It's kind of like The Walking Dead in a sense, you know, where it's kind of different. Um, Yang Issue Ten. Half of the page is ripped out, like that King Conan book I showed last collection video, uh, Rick and Morty, issue 24, Frank gave me that one, uh, Assassin's Creed, free comic book day, wasn't really impressed with that one, it's for my first free comic book day, uh, Ninjak, issue 8, pretty cool book, and, um, Spongebob Freestyle Funnies, free comic book day, 2018, um, I didn't know, What company that was? I guess it's United Plankton Pictures. Don't say really. Yeah. So I had it kind of backwards, but who cares? Um. So now all these books are gonna f fall back. Wait, maybe not. Uh. Let's just go with. This, um, uh, this first few. So, uh, Bongo Comics Free For All, um, Free Comic Book Day 2016 book, Simpsons Comics 146, uh, Simpsons Comics 234, Simpsons Illustrated 26, nice cover, uh, Simpsons Comics Shake Up, it's just a 
graphic novel, basically. Um, attack, is she 15? It's cool. I'm kind of rushing. I don't want this book to be too long. Uh, it sounds like I said I'm Russian rather than I'm rushing. Excuse my enunciation. But anyway, uh, World at War, uh, issue 22. Rebels, issue 1. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic, issue 34. Um, Action Comics, issue 587. Cool book. Uh, Aquaman, issue 61. Aquaman, issue 17. It's my first Aquaman book, and I like it. Uh, Batman Sins of the Father, issue 2. Batman, issue 50. Fried Pie variant, if I'm not mistaken. Batman Detective Comics, issue 33. I believe that's like the 30s, 40s variant. Uh, Batman and Robin, issue 35. Batman and Spawn, War Devil, complete volume. Uh, Black Lightning and Hong Kong Fooey, issue 1. Got this book because Hong Kong Fooey is in it. My dad told me about him. I uh, watched a cartoon. My Grammy got me a 70s cartoon DVD for Halloween. And he was in it, and I liked it. Uh, Blue Beetle, issue one, Rebirth. There's, like, it's kind of weird because there's, like, so many Blue Beetle books and all that. They do it. I don't know. It's weird. But, um, because there's, like, two different covers and two different stories. I can't grab too many at a time. Uh, Cyborg issue three. Um, Cyborg issue five. Set these aside down here. Deathstroke issue two. Issue four. It's my first ever Deathstroke book, and that's one book that I got getting back into comic books. Uh, Deathstroke issue five, another one. Got back into comic books with, and issue 7, too. Need issue 8 to continue that story. That's pretty good. Uh, Deathstroke, issue 10. Issue 11. The art was good until, like, issue 9 or 10, I guess. And then... 12's got better. Gotten better, which is what I have, issue 12. <clears throat> issue 13... Deathstroke, 32. Deathstroke versus Batman, if you want to say. Uh, Deathstroke, 24. Deathstroke Defiance. Deathstroke Defiance, 26. Deathstroke the Terminator, 23 and 26. Um, Death of Hawkman, issue 1 of 6. Really, it says featuring Adam Strange, but really all it's about is Adam Strange. Just going to say... Of uh, the Fury of Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, issue 38. Futures in issue 30. Nice book. Uh, Green Arrow, issue 60. Green Lantern, issue 156. I don't know why I got that book. I just picked it up. Guess I liked it. I don't know. Uh, Harley's Little Black Book, issue 5. It's a pretty cool book. Justice League of America, issue 194. Missed a book. Oh, a lot actually. Okay. Uh, Justice League versus Suicide Squad issue one. Justice League Europe issue thirty-five. One of my first books ever. Justice League International issue thirteen. Or is it Suicide Squad? It says, okay, it's Justice League International, but it says Suicide Squad versus Justice League International at the top. Uh, Justice Society of America, issue 4. That's a very good book. Um, Kung Fu Fighter, issue 3. Nightwing, issue 29. Our Fighting Forces, issue 144. Red Hood and the Outlaws, issue 5. Scooby Apocalypse, issue 7. Scooby-Doo Team-Up, issue 24. It's a pretty cool book. Sergeant Rock, issue 403. The Silencer, Issue 4, 
Suicide Squad issue one, one of my first books getting back into comic books along with this one. Suicide Squad issue four, Superman American Alien issue six, Superman Man of Steel issue 53, Superman issue one, um, I see it does cover Adam Hughes. I think that's the one who um did that Spider Man variant. I knew it was Adam or something. Uh Superman issue twelve, one of my favorite ever Superman books in my collection. But anyway, uh Secret Society of Supervillains issue four. That was the one I was talking about. Looks like a sixties book, but it's a seventies book. Um Swamp Thing Annual issue one. Sword of the Atom, issue three. The New Teen Titans Siege. Well, New Teen Titans, uh, issue 35. Tales of the Teen Titans, issue 43. Tales of the Teen Titans Annual, issue three. Uh, Bob's Burgers, free comic book day, 2018. Very nice cover. I like it. Uh, Bob's Burgers, issue 14. Uh, Kiss, Issue 2. It's another book I got. Getting back into comic books with that Punisher Annual, Issue 1. Um, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, Issue 1, DDP, whatever. It's the name of the brand. Uh, I got that when I was little. Tried to pull the sticker off, but fortunately that happened. But anyway, uh... Donald Duck 209, Little Monsters, issue 12, yes. Uh, one of my favorite books in my collection, actually. Um, Mighty Mouse, issue 172. Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse, uh, issue 167, if I'm not mistaken. 162. Close. Um, Kick-Ass, issue 1. And The Walking Dead, Volume 3. Well, there's the second part of my collection, guys. Longer than the first one, but still, it was pretty good, I guess you could say. Um, the chaos afterward. There's that stack, and then that stack. There's my light. And then <laughs> there's that stack. So, yeah, um, a lot of comics. My collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. Oh my gosh, that was tiring. But I will see you next video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, bye.